Hey Libra, welcome to your reading. I'm getting some like really weird mixed messages from you already. Somebody may be going back and forth. <laughs> okay, so take that as it resonates. Oh, look at this. What are you doing? Yeah, we've got winter here. But somebody's standing there now with their heart open. Let's see what else Spirit has here. <laughs> somebody, four of wands in reverse, somebody could be thinking, okay, about, you know, what sort of a commitment they want. All right. Let's get some intention here for the reading. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's like, I want just an ordinary life. Apparently, it's not ordinary with you, no. Because we're talking about a divine partnership. There's projections. There's mirroring. Make, yeah, this person is feeling like they are like back and forth. They don't know what the hell is going on. Okay. But that's like a will end. Okay, as soon as you get through this next void, yeah, you're talking about very much uh, defined, okay, connection coming in here. Okay, wow. All right, let's get a look at this, Libra. Okay. So, who, what, where is causing chaos for you? Okay, what... Can you do? Wow. What can ease the situation? How can you regain your personal balance? I don't think anyone's gotten this many cards, Libra. And advice moving forward. Thank you. Like, seriously, what in the hell are you going through? Okay, so who, what, and where is causing chaos in your life? It's you and the disappointment that you have for this connection. Okay, what can you do? Well, eight of coins, I feel like you're already trying to lose yourself in daily life, in work, right? Two of swords with judgment, uh, daydreaming, not really looking at... Um, what you can really do here. And it's crossed by the Queen of Wands in reverse, all of that. You feel powerless in all of this, okay? Now, um, what can ease the situation? There's a crossing energy of Ten of Cups and Ten of Coins. We're going to have to wait until we get to the clarification, but there is something that brings everything into harmony, okay? For yourself, personally, how can you come into balance? Knight of Cups, Page of Wands, Page of Swords. Okay, it's very interesting. This, there may be someone who is opening up could be you, could be them opening up, okay, to take some action. They may want to see, right, like, they want to get creative with you, okay? They may be figuring out how can, like, I can I make you something? Can I, you know, offer you something that shows you, like, in the background that this is still the commitment that I want, um, but you've got to get clear, okay? You've got to get clear about what you want from this person, okay? Because the advice going forward is that make the decision and go three of wands, okay? So let's get this clarity, all right? Five of cups, five of cups. Yep, there's the King of Wands. 
with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, somebody has all the power in making a new start here. And you feel like it's not you. I do feel like this person wants to plant a new seed here. Okay, yeah, all right. Death. Like, I want to be done. But this death card shows, okay, the tower off in the distance. So whoever it is knows, maybe you both know, that we can't get beyond this if we don't work through this tower moment. Okay. So you're kind of losing yourself here, right? Um, I'm focusing on work. I'm not looking at my decisions. I'm daydreaming, right? You know what you want, okay? Your thoughts are really always going towards this person, which means that you might be, even at work, you might not be pulling your full effort into place, right? Knight of Swords. I feel like you're daydreaming that this person is going to come back and give you this clarity and sweep you off your feet, okay? They do have the same feelings that you do, okay? It is strong. You're not wrong about that. Queen of Wands in reverse, okay? Seven of Cups. You think that you don't have any power, that there's not any options here. Okay. There could be third party energy, whether it is um, somebody standing in the way of you and what you want, like a job or this love idea. Um, you may feel like it's just all up into the universe, right? Like you don't have any sort of play in this, right? Five of Swords. I'm just, you know, at their mercy, waiting for the new beginning, okay? So what is the crossing here? The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Coins. Okay. Knight of Cups. Okay. And we've got the Knight of Cups above here. But that is the masculine, right, who's thinking about it. This is the feminine. Okay, so how you can ease the situation is by making an offer. Okay. Tell me more about this. Yeah, Six of Swords. Okay, making it an easy transition. Okay. Yeah. And you thought about it, right? You keep opening up the idea of sending the message and then you're like, no. So personally for you to feel balanced, you need them to come in though. Okay. Because you coming in makes you feel out of balance. So what if they come in? Okay. Yeah, you don't have to work so hard. You don't have to feel defensive. But yet you get that four of wands, right? Even if it's in the background, even if it's kind of a backlog, you get the clarity you need. And then what can you offer at that point, right? Well, you're not going to offer stability because you're stuck in your head. Okay, Page of Swords, Six of Pentacles in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They come to you. You're in your head. Okay. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Cups, right? Because, yeah, they break the silence and now you're in La La Land. Okay. And then you're kind of just sitting back waiting for things to grow, right? Waiting for the balance that you're not getting necessarily in the situation, but you feel balanced within yourself. OK, 
Okay, three of wands, advice moving forward. Okay, five of wands. You still haven't learned all of the lessons in this. You're still playing the tic-tac-toe game of you make that move, then I'll make that move, then you make that move, right? Part of this has to do with the idea that um, there's still secrets, right, that make you feel like you can't even walk into this space. Yeah, but there is a lot of love and a lot of emotions that you have for this. And keeping it all to yourself is really just self-harm. Four of Swords here, okay? You can either plant a new seed and get yourself out of this funk or just keep holding on to this burden, okay? So let's see what the universe wants to add to this. Six of Wands, okay, yeah, it's really interesting. Like there is this hidden energy, okay, you're hiding, like they're showing like your face hiding on this tree, like there's this wreath of friendship, like you're hiding behind this obscure idealism of friendship and this person is like they're lost in all of this right yeah king of wands in reverse with the two of cups it's a tango it's a dance right where you're in the power and then they're not and then they're in the power and then you're not and there has not been an easy transition okay again Four of Swords, Will of Fortune. You know that this is just making you feel awful. You're not going to get over this unless you move the wheel forward. But you've got to decide how you're going to move the wheel forward. Like she's sitting here with the pendulum. What do I do? What do I do? Right? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Figure out what it is you want. Plant that, and that will grow, okay? But you got to get out of this mindset. So let's go ahead and close off with an oracle. All right, if you've enjoyed the reading, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right. Yeah, in your heart of hearts, you know what you want. You want to end the old cycle. You want to start anew. Because we've got the higher self, which is a two, and the um, kindred partnership, which is a one together, right? That's the movement forward. That's the end of the cycle. Your higher self knows what you want to grow out of this. But um, you're just not even allowing yourself to participate. So... I hope this helps you. I hope you have a beautiful week and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.